All right. I'm going to try to do a drip feed waste oil system on my wood stove. Try to convert it over. I've seen some videos on YouTube and got some ideas. I'm going to put a few of my own ideas in. Uh, I have done the drip feed before in the past. And just kind of a not a full time thing, but just something I could try. I got a two liter bottle which threads in to a three quarter inch pipe thread fitting right up there. And it seals pretty good. And I made this little sight drip deal so you can see inside the the PVC there that I made. I can turn the valve in and then you can see the the drip feed rate going down right there and then it just gravity feeds down through that hose. I got it pinched off. This is what I had before and then it went into this piece of uh, copper pipe and then into the burner. So I'm going to try to modify this a little bit. going to drill a hole in the back here through the inside because I can't get a drill in there and the stove is massively heavy and so this is the blower I got bought it at a second hand store I think I paid three dollars and fifty cents for that <laughs> I don't know if you can see that on the camera or not There we go for a second. But 110 volt. So I'm going to plumb that in there. Put that in. Put this nipple on there. I'm just going to probably tape these together for now. And I'll put that on, shoot it. Straight up the back of my stove in and then I'll have the drip line going in there. So what I gotta do is drill a hole up in that corner. You can see that copper tube, maybe, that I had in there before. So gonna try to drill a hole through there with a bimetal hole saw run some one inch pipe through there so that's where I'm at now and I'll record again when I find the next step okay I got that hole drilled actually went a lot easier than I thought drilled right through there stack some wood up in there to get some length to my elbows to get up there it's about 28 inches deep so kind of stretched out in there all right Let me show that pretty dang good light i got right here led 20 bucks magnetic base on it but anyway, there's the hole. There's the little piece I cut out. So now I'm going to plumb it and get back to you when I have something else to show you. Alright, I got my pipe nipples, my copper tubing laid out here. I measured up what I needed, went to the hardware store, bought the size I needed. I was going to make it all out of some pipe I had here but I'd have to cut and weld it all together and I thought I'll just go buy the pieces They're like I don't know four dollars three fifty and three bucks about fifty for the elbows and I got this uh, conduit lock nut for one inch what I'll do is put that put that on the end of uh, my long one where it goes through the 
wood stove and then when I tighten the cap up against it the lock nut will be here the wall of the wood stove will be here and then I can cinch it up tight and still be able to twist it you know or adjust it later if I need to and what I did with this one I drilled a hole right there for the copper to go through so that'll go like that then the blower will blow air up through here copper will go through all of this piping when I get it all done and hopefully from another uh, oil drip burner that I made I'm gonna have it come and turn down into the top of that little flue that little stack down into a Dutch oven this is what I used before with just a drip and it didn't quite put out what I wanted it to it's, it got hot but not hot enough so I think this forced air is gonna be the trick all right I'm gonna get it all plumbed together and I'll come back in and record when I got something new okay I'm getting ready to put the copper tubing through all of my piping uh, you can probably see there I drilled a couple of extra holes in that piece they'll go inside of that stack but that's how I'm gonna do it right now and I'll check back in a minute when there's something else to film okay I got it in there that was quite a little chore that copper don't want to twist around in there if you do any more on yours if you're building one might consider putting some unions in there okay there's the last fitting that I got to put on after I put this inside the wood stove I'll center that up a little bit when I get it all done all right I'll be back in a sec all right got it all plumbed up it's just a temporary setup for this test run. If it works good, I'll get a bigger container. Maybe run it outside and have it just a line coming in out of a 55 gallon barrel. That'd be awesome. Okay, I got it dripping. I think I'm going to need more, but it's we'll start there. Got it down. This is high temp line braided reinforced it's going in there got the blower hooked up that's a stainless steel tube there that yellow and I got my blower there and it's hooked up to a variable speed controller so I can adjust the volume of the air so I don't know if you can see it dripping in there or not. There you might, right in the center there. Okay, I just lit it. It's been about three minutes. Just put a piece of paper towel in there. So, I'm going to put the blower on it and see what it does. impressive this little deal I built I can close that off Turn the oil up. Got 
got a lot of smoke. I'll let it run here for a few and then I'll get back with you. Okay, I've got it running along at a pretty good clip. Show you my flow there. It's going pretty good. Steady stream, it's not a drip right now. Just about out of oil. So I thought I'd take a video while it's going before I run out. secondary burn when I burn wood works pretty good shut the door and well you look at that with this uh, waste oil burning what that secondary air does it induces air it's I regulate that with this knob here You can see it kind of burning above, burning the gases. Then I've got a bunch of holes around my window frame here that take air in. And I adjust that with this knob. It's kind of an air wash to keep the glass kind of clean. It's a little smoky right now. Alright, I guess that's the end of this video, so if you like it, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, let me know what you think. Have a good one.